Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh. Woo! Wow! All right. Very excited. Very honored. Thank you very, very much. Um, I, uh, I, I don't carry a purse often, often but I, I prepared a, a couple of things just in case this would happen, and, and, and I placed them in a very safe place where I, I knew that no one would be going this evening. <laughs> so. One of the, uh, one of the, uh, you know what, for, before I start that, you know, we, we we're talking about our parents here and uh, everybody mentioning their parents and, and this award reminds me very much about my mom who passed away uh, about four years ago and, and when I would win an award and, and I would bring it to her, she would be so proud and, and I'd say, look mama, you know, vinto questo, you know, I won this and she'd go, oh, que bello, que bello, how beautiful, how beautiful. Uh, do they give you any money? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, How much do you I want? I down these, uh, a few things here. What, uh, the, one of the first culprits uh, for uh, getting me here is Richard Flo Hill. Now this is this is a true story. Richard, where are you? Are you here? Yeah. Where? Yeah. Where? There he is. Where? Oh, Richard, where are you? Yeah. Oh Richard! There he is. Anyway, Richard Flo Hill, I, I actually dialed the wrong number and got Richard Flo Hill. <laughs> and and uh, I didn't know exactly who he was, but he knew who I was and introduced me to Derek Andrews. Thank you, Derek. Richard, thank you. And introduced me to Holger Peterson and Stony Plain Records and things kind of went from there. And uh, Richard, I've thanked you many times in, in, in private and, and I'd like to thank you tonight in front of everyone. Thank you very much for that. Give him a hand, Richard. And he put, you know, he put my name up there, and, and it was, you know, it was just such a great thing. And, uh, you know, uh, the truth of the matter is that, and, and you hear a lot of stuff, but the truth of the matter is that I, I really only had to sleep with him once. one of the greatest 30 seconds of my life. This little place that was about the size of this stage was the very first Mabel Blues Awards. And uh, I don't know how many of you were there, I was there. And some of these guys were there for sure. And tonight, being in this great hall and this great place is a testament to the hard work of uh, the Toronto Blues Society and uh, also, yeah, and all the musicians and, and most of all to uh, the people that uh, come to these concerts and, and continue to buy our music. And uh, growing in this way shows everyone, the media and everyone, that the blues uh, is not only a place for uh, basements, or whiskey and, and smoke, although that's the good part. Um, <laughs> you bet. <laughs> Uh, being here is a, is a great testimony to the growth of the blues and the understanding that uh, it is, uh, we do have some class and some culture going on, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, 
deserve to be heard. Now, uh, I, I have to, while this, uh, this is uh, my moment here, because uh, one thing I wanted to ask, can you get a, a second Lifetime Achievement Award? Or is this it? It is probably my only time I'm going to win this award here, but you never know. <laughs> uh, my publicist would, if, if I didn't, at least just for this moment, just let, me, just let me say that this was a project that I worked on for about 10 years, and it's called Music from the Big House. Yeah. It's a documentary that I, thank you, thank you, that I did at the Louisiana State Penitentiary. People are trying to get out, I was trying to get in. <laughs> and uh, the documentary will be featured as uh, part of the uh, 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 Music Count segment uh, at the Juno Awards opening at the Lightbox Theatre on March 21st. <laughs> Thank you. I hope you remember that. It will be out in Toronto, and it's it, like I say, it took me 10 years. I'm working on another project, and I hope I don't die before that comes to fruition. The soundtrack will be out as well. We're working on that. This is a, a soundtrack that I recorded with the inmates. Uh, uh, the first idea was to record for the inmates, and, and uh, once we got in there, we decided that the inmates needed to be heard in, as well. Uh, this is the prison where Lead Belly was, and a lot of famous uh, blues musicians seem to go to jail there. <laughs> uh, let me see, uh, there's a couple other things, let's see, what else do I need to say? Um, for, for, you know, um, for, for all of the musicians who have, like myself, who have been lucky enough to make a living, uh, doing what we love to do. Uh, I think that I could say for all of us that we're really grateful, uh, really grateful uh, to you all for keeping us in this, in this world that we love and what we love to do. It's, it's something that proves that you are blessed in this life if you can do something that you love. And uh, so we're grateful to all of you, all of you that come to our concerts and buy our CDs and you know, do our laundry and, you know. <laughs> A young musician uh, recently asked me when I was uh, doing a Q&A at, uh, at the movie and asked me, because it took so long to make it happen, asked me how did I keep going for all those years. And I, and I said that it was the passion, the passion to do to make this happen. The passion that never left, the passion that I hope never leaves me. And that's what keeps me going, the passion to sing, the passion to perform, the passion to write, the passion to be here tonight. So he was an aspiring young uh, musician and uh, so he asked me for some advice to make a living in, in this business and, and uh, I suggested that he, he grew the biggest set of balls he ever could imagine. <laughs> Not that I have any, but <laughs> no, truly it takes, it takes a lot to stay in this, in this business. Anyway, so two things. I want you to know from the bottom of my heart that I'm really, really grateful. I'm really grateful. really, really grateful to be here, and I thank you. And one more thing, should you speak about this moment, or speak about this time when I'm here, I hope that you say that one thing I said was that I hope that I'm never predictable, and the second thing is, and please spread the word, I ain't done yet. <laughs> <laughs>